Hello everybody, it's Chuck Thunder and we're back. So we did a little bit of off-camera mining. You might notice a few things in my inventory that have changed and we did a lot. So we mined off-camera for quite a bit. We found a amethyst uh, spot here and down there and we were able to make um, amethyst swords uh, which are slightly better than regular swords. We made amethyst axe, uh, pickaxes and, and other things, shovels, all of these things. And the reason why I made them from amethyst is because it was able to uh, mine um, things in which that needed iron. And I wasn't finding iron. And then suddenly, I don't know what, I started finding iron. So we do have iron now in our, in, in our inventory. But before we go smelting up all of the metals, I said I need to find a way to start or doubling because we're going to be struggling to get some mats to begin with. So I went and used some of my mats to start making a sterling dynamo from thermal uh, expansion. Well, now it's called thermal series. And this is going to be our main way to make energy. So when you put that in, it'll start slowly burning our coal and outputting it to um, energy and we are going to then put a, a pulverizer in front and that's what we're in the middle of building at the moment so I'm going to type in at thermal uh, let's see here How can we change this no 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 All right, well, at thermal series we wanted the pulverizer so we are pretty much at that stage, we just need to finish making this, which we needed glass, which we went and got um, sand so we can make glass. We need at least four pieces of it. So we'll, we'll have it all smelt up because we never know if we need more. And then once the glass is made up, we can make up the machine frame and then we have everything else made up to do uh, the actual pulverizer, which we then will plop right here in front, which I realize now we won't be able to plop right in front because we need pipes. So let's go ahead and well, let's keep it if I break it. Well, we're about to find out. I love the sound that it makes. Alright, now let's see. Did it keep the energy? Yeah, it did. Okay. Uh, I did make the crescent hammer. We also need to make pipes, which... item pipe, fluid pipes, energy pipes. Uh, we need redstone and iron for that and we might have enough for all of that. It appears that we do. Uh, so let's make up a few more things of iron. Even though it may not be the most efficient thing we're doing with. Alright, and let's get um, let's get our pulverizer made up. So add thermal expansion. Oh, sorry, the pulverizer, machine frame, done, and pulverizer, done. All right, so now we have a pulverizer that we can set up right there. We just need to get this pipe made up. Um, how do we do pipes again? Uh, I remember seeing it was a reasonable amount of redstone and iron. Yeah, makes a lot. So let's. Let's get the uh, redstone made up. We need at least two of those. And we need more iron. Perfect. Alright. And then we could just plop that right there. And something tells me we need this because this is not receiving power. So we need to output. There we go. Are you outputting? Oh. Hmm. What am I doing? How do we do this? Damn it. Get back here. No. 
How do I do this? I'm trying to get you to. There we go. All right. Now we need to put down our pipe. Boom. Now will you receive power? I guess that's the back side. That's input. That's output. It's input output. Now why are you not receiving power? I would assume. I don't know what the situation is. Based on local feedback, you can make a bunch of energy. It is, should be outputting right to here. I don't want to change. Hmm. All right, well, let me figure out what that situation, oh, is that why? Is it outputting in weird redstone flux power? I, I don't know. I'm gonna need to figure out what's going on. We'll figure it out, be right back. All right, well, I got nowhere with it. I tried two different pipes. I tried both the thermal dynamics pipe and the energy pipe by pipes, and neither one of them is transferring energy out of this. So I'm thinking I need something else, and that would be the redstone cell, um, which this requires. This No, there's no way. There's no way that I need any of this. What, what, what do I, can I do anything? I can't I can't make smelting if I can't pull out power the redstone flux cell is what I want but in order to do that I need a redstone flux cell and I need cured rubber really there's no way I need all of that thermopedia I need a book for this to figure that to even look things up I need a book and then I need Leather. Can they just not tell me what I need? Attach a redstone flux limiter. Fluid ducts. Flux duct I have. I don't have any way to transfer power out of this. That's the problem I'm having. Because no matter what I use, I can't get energy out. I tried using this. You think that would be enough? I watched Dire Wolf's 20 series, and that's literally what he did. And he took the wrench and just made sure that it was outputting there. And this doesn't do anything other than outputting. Do I need a redstone signal? There's no way I need a redstone signal. Right? There's no way we need a redstone signal. Nope. At least not there we don't. What about here? Nope. Well, this is going to suck if I can't use any kind of ore doubling. if I can't get power out of this. I just converted two of my things into this and I can't get power out. I, there's just nothing else here. What I need
podcast and I can answer other things. Uh, redstone. Crafting. Return single energy. Yup, yup, I got all that. Yeah, how do I get the energy out? I need a redstone block cell. I can't do that without electrum gears, which I can't create electrum unless if I take gold and silver and combine it in a smelter. Or gold and silver dust, which I then need a pulverizer for and a magnum charge. So it's just not going to happen. Alloy kiln, that's a multi block structure. Arc furnace, another multi block fur thing. Energizer smelter, if I can make the electrum. And a redstone furnace, yeah, if I could do it, but I can't. Alright, let's try something else. We have one other option. We take the actual machine and we place it right in front. No, that changed nothing. That changed absolutely nothing. What goes there? All right, more research is needed. Alrighty, we found a solution. We made a different kind of generator. So the pipes aren't broken, and this isn't broken. It's the generator that's broken. So we are gonna hang on to that generator in case we can ever figure out how it uh, works because we could really use um, a working uh, power source that is uh, in conjunction with this because I don't know that this is the most effective. But we have a solution here. Uh, the only thing is, is that I don't have a way of inputting any power into this uh, right now. So we're going to put all of the power stuff that we were dealing with up here for now. Actually, we are probably going to want that because we are going to put next to that at some point um, some other form of... I'll get a few more of these. Um, We'll probably put another, uh, there we go, just like that, all right, we'll probably put another um, uh, thing right here soon. All right, so on top of this, we're going to put the things that we want to be pulled uh, for the inputs. We're going to go ahead and put you in there because we can get extra bonus stuff out of you. We're going to go ahead and put an extra coal into you as well. Cool. Uh, while we're also at that, we should probably make some more charcoal because um, we don't have a lot of that, uh, or if any, honestly. I thought we had a bunch of coal, but I guess we don't. Yeah, we must have used it all when making things, so we need to make some. So let's go ahead and put that in there. We'll get some charcoal going. And then you... You're going to do some grinding down of our ores. Can you grind raw gold? something wrong with these like why are you not outputting to the chest immediately like isn't that not a thing you do I guess not Now 
all you're doing. Now you're cooking with gas. All right, so now we're making up all the things we need. Jeez, that was just taking forever to do anything with this. I'm sorry to drag everybody along with that, but um, this is just temporary. I'm going to put in this slot here one of the other thermal expansion things. Um, thermal. And we need a induction smelter. I believe this is the one that I'm talking about. Yeah, this is the one that makes alloys um, and other things of that nature. Polarizer, sawmill, separator, original furnace, it keeps it simple. Um, we need a blast furnace for that. It's, yeah. Otherwise, what do you take to make? You're simple enough. But we need some more ores anyways because we need more redstone. But we're not quite there. So you continue to grind that up. We'll have you make a couple more of those. I'll take one out of you. Because I need some iron. And this goober foo stuff is really good, actually. Better than coal. Can you go into these? No, all you can do is use that. See, that's why I wanted the thermal dynamo. The, uh, sorry, the dynamo, because you can take more than just coal. All you can take is coal. And that's annoying. Really annoying. Ugh, that makes me so upset. Things would have worked out great if it was the other dynamo, but since it is not, uh, it is not working as well as I had hoped. So, uh, mag blocks, they can't do anything. I'm just looking at what I got here. If, this would have been great if I could add what I wanted, but I don't have the ability want, I want. Convert coal and blocks of coal to power. Yeah, that's about all you can do. But for right now, that's perfectly fine. Until we get some other power source that's going to work better. What, you can't grind tin? Or no, we're out of power. Let's see, that's... That's the problem. It's inefficient. It's really inefficient. Uh. All right. Well, one of the things I also want to see if we can get into today, uh, which I think would be really nice. Um, I need a new pickaxe to get ready here. So let's get some of the amethyst so we can make another one. Um, one of the things I want to get into here is I want to look into a different uh, thing here and it's called um, gears yeah here it is silent gears I want to get into making um, potentially new items here uh, one of these guys and they require flint and logs um, and uh, I don't have any more flint, do I? No. Do I have gravel now? Diorite, sand, cobble, I don't. But there's, there's gravel all over. So we're going to do a bit of mining off camera here today, um, just until all of this is just about handled. Can you? No, you can only handle coal. So that's what I mean. Like, this is frustrating. But now I'm like out of wood. I used the ball of the wood. Oh, what am I ironing? It's doing in there. We're not going to smelt anything up until we need it at the moment. Um. toss 
these into there so that way there's enough power and we'll get a move on um, power stuff you're useless you can't do what I want you to do alright so we gotta go do some mining off camera we need to get a bunch more of the standard metals and stuff of that nature um, and we need to get quite a bit more of these other things that so we could do the thermal um, expansion um, version of the Risto furnace which we need more iron well we could probably do the the frame but we need more redstone that's the main thing uh, and bricks is that what it requires bricks well bricks are easy bricks are made from smelting clay so we have that so we'll go ahead and smelt up some of those bricks We don't have anything that could be smelted, do we? Nope. Nothing smeltable. We just are not, we're batting a thousand today with some terrible luck. We just aren't, uh, we don't have enough resources that we are taking on a little too much, uh, biting off too much more than we can handle right now. So I'm just kind of like SOL when it comes to being able to do the things I want to do because I just didn't uh, commit to enough stuff and so we need to we need to do some serious mining get ourselves more iron more redstone real at least get started with ore doubling which will go a long way but definitely need to do a little bit more so in the meantime let's get let's get you going um, so those bricks can be done. All right, we gotta go do some mining. So we're gonna do that off camera. We will be back in a moment. Wait, wait, wait. All right. We'll be back in a little bit, guys. See you later. All right, we're back, and we are cooking with gas. We've got a bunch of stuff. We found a nice little cavern down there. We can actually do some uh, good stuff now. So let us uh, show you what it is we're up to. We're making our redstone furnace, which is going to make life so much easier as it'll just automatically start smelting right after so we no longer have to do this thing so we could probably can we place it right on top no we're gonna need to place it next to like this oh and that needs to be cut out now what if that was just a chest let's get rid of you too we don't want you there all right um pipe just like that you should be receiving power you are let's get our bed up because we don't need that to be there make some space bed back down just like that all right and now we are cooking with gas literally no just kidding we're cooking with coal auto input sweet now you are doing that let's get a chest cook it up here and now oops not where I wanted you. I'll put you up top and you will output to the top. And you will auto output. Nice! So now we got ores in, ores out, so the dust will deposit here. You'll pull in and you will smelt here. And we'll get raw ores from now on. And we need to just keep up with the charcoal part because we don't have 
we don't have a, a way of making uh, coal any other way right now. Seems to be the way we're going to do things here. I'll put you back there, buddy. To honor your sacrifice to making my bed. <laughs> Alright. Appetite doesn't need to go in there, so appetite can go into here. We got a redstone, we got andesite now. Glass. I need to know how to use this. All right, so we have done the basics. We have now an ability for us to continue just making a bunch of ores. Now I want to focus on uh, doing that other thing I was talking about where it's called gears or whatever, because um, I want to be able to make pickaxes that are not just amethyst pickaxes, um, which we need then flint and, oh, flint, flint, flint. Dang, I just threw my flint in there. I'm an idiot. All right, we got some extra flint. Um, so we can start making these guys up with some wood. Um, that's easy enough. Let's make a few of those up. go we got our pickaxe one now since we have our pickaxe thing we can then make different um, pickaxes based off of the different um, things we get here so um, iron gives us malleable three and magnetic one uh, malleable two and soft one brilliant malleable and soft three you know each of these metals will give us a uh, different Let's say lead will give us malleable two, aquatic two, interesting. Um, malleable two, silver's not the greatest. <laughs> Lapis lazuli is not going to really give us anything. Diamond's going to give us brittle and lustrous. These don't do anything for us. I don't know how to socket gems. We're going to figure that part out. Silver doesn't do anything good for us. Um, tin, malleable one, soft two, copper, soft one. Um, yeah, it looks like iron's the way to go. <laughs> yeah, but it, amethyst is just better. Amethyst has renew one. What is renew? Like, I don't know what that means. Osmium, malleable too. What do these things... Gooey beef. Uh, I don't... I don't... I don't I don't know. Goo goo. Okay, okay. No, we don't. We don't have like any other way to make. Um, iron's just the way to go. We'll, we'll make ourselves an iron pickaxe because we can. Um, what is gold? Are we out of power? That's why. Yep. Are out of power. All right, now you continue. Um, so let's go ahead and do that. So if I read this correctly, we have magnetic one and flexible two and malleable three. Now we could swap different handles out at any point. So let's go ahead and make the iron pickaxe right now. I see. This is a little lengthy. 0.75 reach distance. Okay, that's kind of cool, but unnecessary. So we can make a stone one. It traits flexible and ancient. I don't know what ancient does. But that's kind of cool. What about amethyst? 
Now, amethyst is a unique kind of pickaxe, so we need the amethyst ones. Experience in gold pickaxe of quarrying. Um, 50 base experience gained when mining. Okay, and mining speed is faster. Um, gold pickaxe. And malleable one, soft too. Yeah, we're we're not gonna mess with the ones that we get from um, special situations. Um, the heck was that? Is that a traveling salesman? Yes, it is. Hello, sir. I can't help you with anything. So we just let you go. Can't do anything with you. Bye. All right. You're making uh, stuff up. Cool. You're still doing your thing. You're burning through coal like crazy. And then maybe we can do this one. The saw template would be nice. We need a few more templates. So let's go ahead and make a few more of those. Because a saw template would be cool. Because then we can totally use malleable silver magnetic would be cool. Magnetic, flexible two, malleable three. Yeah, let's just do that one. Now we have a new way to chop down trees, which hopefully make things a lot faster. Let's see, will you do this big tree? Yeah, you do. Oh, yeah. Well, we will not have any problems with uh, any of our coal generation <laughs> anymore because we have learned the ways of cutting down trees. Now that used up a lot of our durability because that's something that we can fix. So like that's something that we can repair. Happy with leggings. Let's see. Let's see. Does this do this? It does. Increases armor, base life steal, heavy weapons, based overall heal, core armor plus one extra armor. That's kind of cool. So, 8.5 armor plus one armor. That's kind of cool. Sweet. Do we have any more things like that? No, that was the only one. But that is kind of cool. If we get these gems, that's now how we socket that. We found this guy downstairs in the uh, cave that we were just in. So that's pretty cool. It sounds like he's like hacking up a lung over there. All right, well now we have, <laughs> we're just gonna do this and we're gonna make a bunch of them. And that's pretty cool. We made one of these uh, saws. Now we can make helmets. We could make everything. So you don't give me much helmet speed uh, armor. But let's make a chest piece. Okay, we need quite a lot of you. Let's make a chest piece though. And with the chest piece, we can make it from I guess we can make it from stone. Yeah, we can make stone armor. That's interesting. 
uh, uses it though. Interesting. That's kind of cool. That is kind of cool. I kind of like this. All right, well, that, we use that template just to make a temporary piece. But we want to make a real deal here. Let's make something from iron again. I guess I can make it from other pieces. It doesn't have to be gold. It could be osmium and tin and lead. It could be all these things, right? I guess. It seems to suggest... that whatever cool we now have an iron armor chest piece and we kind of need boots I don't know what, what we're doing here that's actually like beneficial to us other than creating these chest pieces that have different um, bonuses because I can always make, you know, the things themselves. Alright, we're, we're good. Let's get all this ore out of here. I'll put all the ore in here. cool all right so that's cool that we have this now um, we could use some boots which will make our boots out of something silly let's see can we make boots out of weird things leather chain mail chain mail is made with iron and iron nuggets diamond boots gold boots netherite boots space boots all these different boots we can make. Emerald boots, crystallized obsidians, force boots. How do we make force boots? From force ingots. And force ingots are made from gold and force gems. And taking gold and force gems. And then what do force boots do? They give us 10%. What? Knockback resistance and armor toughness. I mean, it's easy to make. We have like enough gold probably that we could do that. I don't know. We're not like desperate to make these boots out right now. Gobber boots we can't make. End boots we can't make. Bronze, which is made. Copper dust and tin dust. Lapis boots. Osmian boots. Osmian boots would be kind of cool. We can make Osmian boots. Let's do it. And then our helmet gets this plus two reach distance, which is kind of nice. So, and luck. Very cool. All right, we are cooking. Cooking, cooking, cooking. All right. And we really don't need this guy anymore. Well, we kind of do for other reasons, but not for the things we're thinking of. Sir, you can, like, leave, right? All right, can you leave? Oh, I was going to kill you. Get out of here. 
You're annoying me with your stupid half sounds. All right. Okay, we got some leather and we got a lead. I want to make a backpack. That's what I want to make. Air bangles. Back, 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 back. Just need leather, a chest, and some f string, which we might have all those things now. Leather. I don't think I have enough string. No, but can I make string? Flax. I know where I can get some string, though, real quickly. I left some down there. But once we do that, we can make that. So I'll be right back. I'm going to go get some uh, string. All right, we're back. And now we can make this backpack because I went and got that string um, that I got down there. I just need to make a chest. And then we can do it. Bam. And we can upgrade it um, to different backpacks, can't we? Iron backpack. Just coating it in that. And then we could add pickup upgrades, makes better pickup items. Advanced pickup upgrade makes better pickups, has more filtering options. So these require upgrade bases, which require leather, string, which we can do some of those. And then redstone and a piston, that's weird. I mean, I just need the backpack, I don't honestly care. Oops. Now how do I get to the backpack? How do you open the backpack in the sophisticated backpacks mod? Not with a right click on my stupid. I don't know, but we have a backpack now, and we're going to go stop the episode here. We're going to figure out how to use the backpack. I'm going to put all these things in my backpack, things that would take with me places, um, and see how it goes from there, because we, uh, we just need, uh, we just need to take a break here and reacquaint ourselves with some of the mods and come back to you guys again later. This is Chuck Thunder. Thanks again for watching this. We're going to sign off here, and we'll catch you guys in the next episode. Take it easy.